Aspiring entrepreneur Mpumelelo Matlangu from Soshanguve will be making his mark in the telecoms industry with the introduction of his own affordable laptop. The DTC 400 laptop is the first laptop brand to be launched by a South African township-based company. CEO and founder of Dot Connect Electronics, Mpumelelo Matlangu, joins us this morning to share more about his new, his new invention, his business journey and the challenges he's faced to make his business what it is to date. Mpumelelo, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Such a brilliant initiative, and I quite like your ingenuity because it is a game changer in this industry. What inspired the idea sure. of coming up with your own laptop brand? Uh, I saw a gap when I started because I think I, when I started this business, my aim was to change the narrative of saying that we as black people can create things. And as a South Africans, I saw that we didn't have, uh, especially in terms of electronics, you can name brands that are in your household, none, uh, none of them are South African brand, uh, South African brands. So what I saw, it was a gap. So I thought, you know what, it's time for me to fill the gap since, well, I have an experience in terms of the telecom side of things. And I've done a little bit of IT. So, you know, I saw an opportunity and get Coke. I, I went to go get it anyway. Okay, so do you have any experience and uh, perhaps prior expertise? In terms of the IT side or the telecoms? Yes. Yes, I've been working for a telecoms company for a year. I've been a head of uh, quality assurance. We've done uh, the infrastructure for Wi-Fi in Soweto. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been in the game for a little bit of a while. It's just that it took me a while in terms of the financial part to execute what, what I'm currently doing now. So, yeah, I just had to learn a lot from people. And, yeah, it's been a great journey. How long did it take you to manufacture and get everything together? And I suppose uh, funding as well comes into the in, into play. Sure, sure, sure. It took me two years to actually execute this thing. Because now, in terms of the financial side, that was the only thing that took long. Uh, in terms of uh, getting the spec right and getting the design right, it took me plus minus a year and a half. So it's been fully a uh, full two years me trying to put up this project so it can be able to run so yeah so as much as this is a local brand and a locally manufactured uh, you know product so how is it different from all the big brands that we've uh, grown accustomed to over the years the first thing that i would mention is that obviously it's a south african brand Mm -hmm. Number two is that we are not only selling the brand, but we're trying to sell the, like in terms of the spec, the way it is, you know, you'd find that you'd sell a computer because of the brand name. The price is attached to the brand name, not the, the product itself. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to remove ourselves from that kind of point of view of things. We're trying to sell what is the spec not the brand, the brand name in terms of the, the, the business side of our, our business. So yeah, we're trying to remove away from those kind of things because you know you buy a laptop, a MacBook, because it's Apple, it's Apple, it's going to be expensive because of the name. I don't know if you get me. Yeah, loud and clear. So, and in short, uh, it, it comes at a much lower cost because I suppose the consumers out there, that's the first thing that, that they'll be asking for. How is it different yes. from the other brands? And if it's different, sure. uh, it should be different maybe in the financial sense. Yes. Okay. So I, uh, I take it this was tested and approved, wasn't it? But what kind of challenges did you encounter along the way and had to work out before its release? The first thing it was uh, trying to, because now the problem is what, I, what, I, what, what we, were, we are aiming to achieve as a company is that when we release our products to people, we want it to have a long span. So meaning that we don't want it to have so many glitches where clients will be coming back and saying, you know what, your product is faulty and this is an issue. Then we we'll paint it as, you know, these black companies or these South African companies, hence why we don't support black entrepreneurs or black companies, you understand. So mm. I'm trying to remove those kind of challenges from my, my, my business, you know. So what we're doing is that we are trying to make sure that if it's going to have a glitch, let it be a minor glitch. Not so many glitches where people won't even trust the brand. So we're trying to build 
a, a powerful and most trusted brand because the telecoms industry is very competitive. And when it comes to uh, competing with big brands such as Samsung or HP or Lenovo, you have to have a tough skin and you have to know what you're doing. So what we're doing as a company is we're trying to make sure that we limit so many glitches on our computers mm -hmm. as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And you currently have one make of this laptop. Any plans of yes. expansion? Yes, we... As Yesterday, we had a meeting with my team, so we're planning to release another laptop, which is going to be released next year. Okay. It's going to be DT, it's going to be DTC 400 Pro Smart, but this one is going to be for people, especially professional people, you know, designers and all these kind of guys who use uh, uh, very more advanced spec laptops. At, a, at a, a little bit, let's just say the price tag will be a bit much higher than the DTC 400, the normal one, you know. Okay. So we're, trying to, we try, we're planning ahead from that. But now we want to just establish the DTC 400 firstly here in South Africa and try to build a market around that before we can even go further than that. Is it in the market yet? And if so, how are consumers receiving it? <laughs> yeah. We've been having so many calls. My office has been receiving calls, has been receiving emails from wow. uh, clients. We've been having corporate companies already who've placed orders. So it's, it's so much in demand. I, I'm so even shocked because wow. when I see the team like working, we'll be having calls every day and we're having calls. I hardly even sleep in now because I have to at least try to respond to people that we haven't responded to, you know. Wow. So it's, it's a big traffic. It's a big traffic. Mm. And where would you like to see this brand and laptop go? You know, uh, for me, as I started this, the first, uh, let's just, the tag that I used in most cases, mm. I would say this is hashtag Kasi to the world. So mm. we're trying to mm. move out of, the, out of South Africa as well, but try to dominate other countries. And I'm, I'm very happy that we've received one guy from Nigeria who also placed an order. So sure. uh, it's, it's going big. Jeez, man, this is so encouraging, hey? So where can we get okay. hold of you? Where can we buy the laptop? Is it at uh, the big retail shops yet? Not yet, not yet. We haven't, uh, uh, we haven't put it on the retail stores yet. But okay. for now, for more info, just to check what, uh, to keep up with us, just check us on Facebook, which is dot connect RSA. On Instagram, it's dot connect as well, dot connect RSA. Then on Instagram, it's dot connect electronics. So is that, uh, is, is that where we could get all your contact details for purposes of placing yes. orders? Okay. Yes. All right. I'm um, a great chatting to you, man. Brilliant initiative. Thank you very much. You are the future of this industry. Hey. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Do have a great day now. We just spoke to the CEO and founder of Dot Connect Electronics, Mpumelelo Matlangu, who has produced his own affordable laptop and brand. Beautiful stuff. So oh inspiring. It is five minutes to nine before.